Good morning and welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2014 14 plate Audi A3 2 litre TDI S line 5 door manual finished off in scuba blue. Now, first things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle and then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again but in greater detail. We do use these videos to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop, uh, so they're brutally honest. And I'm going to go over every panel individually, pointing out any flaws that will or will not be rectified prior to sale, giving you a fantastic indication of the condition of this vehicle. Now back round to the start, we're going to start our uh, second go around of the vehicle, looking over the panel work down the near side from front to rear. Now the near side front wing is in good condition, there's a little bit of a scuff as you can see along there that will be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Uh, the near side front door is in good condition and the near side rear door, one tiny little pin dent in the centre of the door that will be professionally rectified before sale and the near side rear quarter looks in good condition. Near side front alloy is in good condition, a couple of little curb marks that will be uh, professionally refurbed in our workshop prior to sale and the near side front tyres on approximately five to six millimetres of tread remaining. Moving down the near side of the vehicle, near side rear alloy is okay and the near side rear tyre approximately four to five millimetres of tread remaining. Looking back down the near side of the vehicle now to make sure we haven't missed anything in any of the panels and the near side rear quarter looks good Near side rear door, just that one very, very small dent, uh, as mentioned from the front. Near side front door looks good, and the near side front wing, uh, the condition is good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle now, checking out the condition of the bumper and the lower plastics in good condition. Just one, in fact, that's just polished from Valet. No, the bumper and the plastics are in good condition. Uh, the rear lights and tailgate again in good condition, along with the rear screen and along the roof lining. Now we're going to look down the offside of the car from rear to front. Offside rear quarter looks good. Offside rear door looks good. Offside front door looks good. And the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy in good condition. And the offside rear tyre, approximately four to five millimetres of tread remaining. Moving down the offside of the vehicle now to the offside front alloy. Uh, alloy is in good condition, a couple of little marks to tidy up uh, at prep stage of the vehicle, and the offside front tyre approximately five millimetres remaining. Looking back down the panel work one final time, uh, the offside front wing is good, offside front door is good, offside rear door is good, and the offside rear quarter is good. Moving around the front of the car now, all lights and grills are in good condition and the front bumper itself does appear to be in good condition also. Very light, superficial mark there that you'll probably even struggle to see on the camera but nothing else to note. The bonnet on this vehicle in good condition, very light stone chipping as to be expected. But it will be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Uh, the condition of the front screen is also good. I can't see any chips to note or anything like that. No, the front screen is in good condition. Now let's get round to checking the interior of the car. We'll start in the boot. What I'll do is I'll just zoom out for the interior, makes it a lot easier to see. Good sized boot with 60 40 split rear seats. Uh, these mats, if they're for this vehicle, it is a bonus as uh, we do not supply floor mats with any of our cars. And in this vehicle, we have a spare wheel. Those uh, private plates that were in the vehicle previously will not be going with the vehicle. Moving round to the rear interior of this A3. So, as you can see, you've got electronic rear windows as well factory half leather half cloth seats three factory headrests three three-point seat belts and isofix fittings to both outer seats condition of the interior is excellent charcoal headliner in excellent condition 
backs of the front seats in good condition as well as the rear carpets. Moving around to the front now. As you can see, again, the factory half and half S-line seats in excellent condition, no rips, no tears. Um, all the bolsters are still firm, holding their shape. Really good condition, carpets in good condition. That's uh, said for both sides. Passenger seat is the same. No signs of any plastic repairs or dash repairs at all in this vehicle. So we'll just close the door and start the vehicle up and run you through some of the spec on the car. So we've got the electronic parking brake, all the MMR controls down in the centre console, six speed manual transmission, dual climate control and air conditioning. It's just switched off. So we've got uh, stop start, traction control, uh, the screen is electronically foldable. We have Audi Drive Select, satellite navigation, telephone connectivity, digital radio, and then we've got Bluetooth uh, telephone connectivity also. As mentioned before, we have full electric windows. Now we've got electronically adjustable and heated side mirrors, central locking controls next to the door handle, light controls just down here and we've finished off with a flat bomb s-line leather bound multi-function steering wheel and this vehicle is on 78,534 miles low mileage for one of these volkswagen audi group vehicles uh, if you'd like to book a viewing on any of our cars at all please give us a call on 01724 876 555 thank you very much for watching